Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jennifer. Coming to you today with a home tour. I know I've been saying I was going to make this video for like quite some time now. I was trying to wait for all of my furniture to come in, but yeah, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So I know some people can find home tours, home videos, all this kind of stuff kind of boring, but I really get into it. I really love it. I love home tours. I love home videos. I love home shopping videos. Like, I love this kind of shit. I really get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Without any further ado, and without making this intro any longer, let's go ahead and jump into the tour of the house. Are you ready, Bubby? Are you ready? No. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome, you can come on in. Say hi, Bobby. Say hi, Bobby. Say welcome to our house. Come on upstairs. Welcome to our home. Is this our dream home, babe? No? It's not our dream home? I think it's our dream home. This is our home that we built together. Are we starting in our master? He wants to be part of our video. This is our master suite that we kind of sort of designed, but it kind of came like this as well. It has tray ceilings. Can you show them the ceiling, babe? And we'll show you our closet. Are you guys ready for the closet reveal? Should we do like a drum roll? Don't. <laughs> do you guys think it's a big or small? He doesn't keep the closet very neat. This is all me, by the way, just so you guys know. This is our master closet that we share, unfortunately. There is a lot of closet space in this house, though, I will say. There's four bedrooms. Um, two of the bedrooms have really good sized closets. My son's bedroom has a really good sized closet as well. Um, but not anything like this. So this bedroom has, as you guys can see, a really, really awesome sized closet. Um, and then we'll show you the bathroom next. I want to show you guys this painting I bought. I absolutely love it. I don't even know what to describe it is. It may be like the inside of a house, the inside of a mansion, maybe a ballroom. I don't really know what it is, but I just absolutely fell in love with it. And when I posted it on Instagram, a friend of mine that I used to work with said that it was kind of a manifestation um, picture, like make it something to work towards or to achieve, which I thought was really cool. But yeah, I love this seating area in my room, the chair, the table, the picture. It's kind of like my go-to alone time space in my room. This is our bathroom, which I do love. I do love, but I do wish the bathtub was a soaking bathtub. That's the only thing, only thing that disappointed me in this house was that I didn't get like a huge soaking bathtub. But other than that, I absolutely love my bathtub. The countertops in the master and the kitchen are granite. And if you guys want to peek in our shower, I mean, there's nothing exciting. Shampoo, soap, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, you could have got um, double counters in here, but we wanted more, I mean, double sinks in here, but we wanted more counter space just to like lay out all our shiz. So we just opted for one sink and more counter space. Oh, Bobby. Say hi to everybody. And next we will go into maybe my office next. Slash beauty room where all the magic happens. This is where I film, where I edit. Thanks for turning the light on, babe. Um, you guys will recognize this. This is where I... Um, organize all the clothes I buy when I'm doing a fashion video. 
This I actually bought off of Amazon, so if you guys are looking for something like just nice to maybe set out some clothes you really love, or if you're also a YouTuber and you want something like this, it was really, really cheap on Amazon. Um, the desk I bought on... Do you remember where I bought this desk, please? No? Okay. I don't remember really where I bought the desk, um, but I do remember I got a really good deal on it. Um, so yeah, so this is my space here. I didn't have a space of my own in our old place to like have an office or film or anything like that. So when we started building this house, that was probably one of the things I was most excited about was that I was gonna actually have like my own space to do all of this stuff in. So I was really excited about that. Um, this is my little lady I bought at Pier 1. She's probably my favorite decor item that I have in here. I don't know if Pier 1 is still in business anymore, but I'm pretty sure you can find these little decor items like on, um, what is that place called? I can't think, but I think they sell it on another website. Um, this is really boring, just an extra closet. Like I said, so much closet space in this house which I really, really love. It's really boring in here. We just store extra items, but I do love that we were able to get so much closet space. This is just a laundry room. Again, really boring. Um, don't judge us. We haven't decorated the guest bedroom in here. We've only been in here for- Month and a half. A month and a half. Thank you. Um, so we haven't done the guest bedroom yet right now. This is our dog's room. Um, he stays in here when we leave and he has to go in his little prison as he calls it. Yes, we make our dog talk, he has a personality. Um, but yes, so this is just where we keep his cage, my extra shoes and an extra dresser that I am planning on redoing. Um, my baby thinks I can't do it, but I am planning on actually refurbishing this dresser. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see if I succeed at that or fail at that. I don't really know. We'll see how it goes. Um, so this is the guest bedroom. Oh, the closet in here is not so great, not so bad. Um, is that where you keep your dress clothes, babe? I sure do. How do you feel about your dress clothes collection? Okay. Do you think it needs to expand? A lot. A lot? Okay. Um, we'll do my son's bedroom first and then we'll take you into... Sweetie? Yeah. We're coming in. <laughs> do you want to introduce them to your lizard? Oh, uh, this is Rocky, a bearded dragon. This is my son's room, a um, really um, awesome size for the, yes, make sure you get the lizard. Rocky is a movie star now. Uh, we thought this was a really awesome size as a, are you making yourself at home? We thought this was a really awesome size for um, his bedroom, so that's why we gave him this room. This is the second biggest bedroom in the house. Um, so that's why he took this one. And it also has the second biggest closet as well, um, which is not too bad for an 11 year old boy. I have to say I'm pretty blessed. He does keep a pretty neat room. This is all him, by the way. Um, he makes his bed every day. He keeps his room really, really clean. For a boy, he keeps his closet really clean. So I have to say I'm pretty lucky in that regard. Um, he does a pretty good job. Mm. And we'll show you his bathroom next, which he also keeps pretty clean. Yeah. I'm a pretty proud mama. Yeah, that's um, We didn't really do too much decor in here yet. Um, it's just pretty basic in here. So, yeah, I have to do... Bubby, you should be embarrassed of yourself. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, except um, this bathroom did not come with granite. Um, for some reason, they were not willing to do granite in this bathroom. I don't really know why, um, but same type of cabinets and everything in here. 
And I think that pretty much sums up up here. So now we can head on downstairs. Are you making sure you get on the good angles? Are you working my good angles today? Okay. This is my fiance's office. Um, this is his office chair that he picked out. This is his big boy, lazy boy office chair. Um, and yeah, we really don't use this room. Do you work in here a lot, babe? No. No, <laughs> no he does not. Um, these are his tiny, tiny, tiny chairs that we ordered. Um, but yeah, I think this room is super cute. Um, that clock we actually got from Walmart, believe it or not. I think it's super, super dope. I love it. It was $25 and I think it is adorable. Did you pick out that clock, babe? I did. And yeah, that pretty much sums up this room. That vase or whatever you would want to call it, we got from the at-home store. And yeah, that's pretty much all the decor that we have in here. I love the windows in here. They give off so much natural light. And um, yeah, let's move on to the next room. Excuse me, Bobby. So this is the hallway leading into the rest of the house. You have a coat closet here, um, which isn't too bad of a size. I mean, there's plenty of room for all of our coats. Um, for some reason, between the three of us, we have an insane amount of coats. And then this is the guest bath, which down here is just a half bath. Um, but downstairs in the basement, which we have not, which we have not finished yet, um, there is going to be another full bath. So once we finish the basement, there will be three and a half baths, right? One, two, three and a half. There will be three and a half. <laughs> 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 there will be um, three and a half baths in the house. Um, but yeah, for now there's just two and a half and this is a half bath. Um, I love this little table shelf thing I got. I got this from the at home store and then I just put all these little decorations on myself just to kind of warm it up in here and make it a little bit more homey. Um, and then yeah, other than that I just left it kind of plain in here. Um, excuse me, sir. Jeez. And then on to the main living space of the house. This is the living room. We love this area of the house. It is, without saying, our favorite part of the house. It's totally open concept in here. Babe, how much do you love that TV? Very much. Do we have a big fight about that TV? No, not at all. Not at all? It was an easy win. It was an easy win for you, not for me. Um, then it just flows into the space where we have our dining room table. Um, then the kitchen, which we love, love, love this island. Um, as you can see, this island is huge. And it just gives us so much counter space. Um, like when I do baking, when I do cooking, cutting, anything like that, we just have so much more space here um, than we did in our old kitchen. And it just makes a world of difference. Um, the appliances um, came with the house. Um, didn't come with the house, obviously we had to pay for them. But we went with the options that the, um, the builders had. Um, and we just love that. I love that I can be in the kitchen cooking and still, you know, like see my family, be with my family, and it just is such a wonderful flow to the home. Hello. Hi, Jacob. And then it also flows into this room, which is kind of like a sunroom. Um, I don't know, it's a little sitting area. This could have also been the dining room but I just wanted to make this a little sitting area. We are obviously missing a coffee table that due to COVID has not been delivered yet. 
Um, but hopefully, I don't know, babe, when do you think it'll be here? Oh, another two months. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, hopefully, at some point within 2021, we will get that coffee table, which would be awesome. Um, this little sofa table, I think I actually got this from Walmart, believe it or not, and it was so, so gorgeous. Um, and I think it was really affordable, maybe like $120, $130. Um, I love all of the windows that we have downstairs. I think there's a total of maybe 14 or 16 windows, I can't remember. And um, yeah, I love the beam that we have in here. We actually put this up after we moved in. We hired a private contractor to do that for us. Is that what those people are called, babe? A contractor? Yes. Carpenter? What are they? Carpenter. Carpenter. And um, that light, we also installed, installed ourselves, and we bought that at Home Depot. Show them how bright the lights are that you bought, babe. Not bright at all. Yeah. Just perfect. Yeah, just perfect. Um, so yeah, I just love everything about this room, and I'm sure I'll love it even more when we have a freaking table in here. So that pretty much sums up um, our house. Through that door over there is our garage, which we're not going to show you because it's actually embarrassing and in this door right here we have our pantry which isn't too bad I mean it's not too messy it's a little messy but not too bad and then through the last door here I'll show you the door that leads to our basement this is just another closet um, that we keep random shit in. I don't even know what's in there. And then this is what actually leads down into our basement. We're not going to show it to you though until we actually finish it. We'll probably be sometime end of this year or next year. Um, but this is the door that leads down to the basement. It's actually the full size of the house. So once we do finish it, it will add a lot of square footage to the home, um, which will be really nice. So that completes our home tour, guys. We absolutely love our home. We feel so blessed to, to have it. Um, we feel so blessed to have built this together and to have this space. Um, it sometimes doesn't feel like we're, we're like actually living here. I don't know, babe, like how long did it take for us to feel like this was actually home? It's still. Yeah, like it still sometimes doesn't sink in that this is actually home yet. Um, so, it's, it's just sometimes still so surreal, but we absolutely love it. And we thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you and you are beautiful inside and out. Bye.